Hey everyone, and uh, welcome to a late, late evening edition of uh, FCRB TV. Uh, so it's been a long day, a lot of uh, a lot of uh, footy to talk about. You know, three big games today, um, and uh, was it four big games? Four big games today, um, and uh, you know, I had to take my uh, youth club to a tournament in the uh, city next door to. Uh, get some games in so those lads are out there running their socks off in the sun as well so it's been a long day but uh, I just wanted to uh, you know get a video in based upon the uh, the first two full days of the uh, World Cup yes Russia started on Thursday but Friday and Saturday we had a full slate of matches and there's a lot to talk about especially the uh, the ongoing debate on uh, Cristiano Ronaldo versus Lionel Messi. Um, so I've, I've touched on that before. I'm going to touch on it again because I feel like there's uh, there's got to be something to be said about what has taken place in the last two last two match days. Um, you know, my 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 native home, Nigeria, played today against Croatia, and we weren't we weren't we we were naive we were naive once again, naive once again. Got beat on set pieces, lost the match 2-0. Um, so it's going to be a daunting task, uh, the remaining two games in the group against Argentina and I Eastland. And um, we just, uh, we're just going to have to suck it up and uh, see what we can do. Um, what are the results? Obviously, the, the Spain-Portugal 3-3 draw was uh, scintillating and very entertaining. Um, a lot of the Ronaldo fanboys are on cloud nine. They believe that he has cemented himself as the GOAT, which I will get to in a minute. Um, uh, what else? Um, um, I, I watched the Egypt-Uruguay Egypt, uh, game, and I tell you, those centre-backs at Uruguay are so sensational. Uh, Diego Godin... And uh, Jimenez, oh my God, these guys, ridiculous. You know, you know, center backs who do the dirty work and D up all day long, and they want to come up on corner kicks and set pieces and score headers. Those guys are G's. And that kid Jimenez banged that header in the 89th minute. It was pretty, pretty impressive. You know, Egypt had their chance. You know, it's a shame that a Salah couldn't play. Um, well, he was available, but he wasn't. He wasn't. He, uh, Hector Cooper didn't put him in the match. So. Um, I tell you, uh, uh, it was uh, you know. I mean, Cavani had a great game. Suarez was not on it. He was he was quite poor, but uh, I'm sure he'll bounce back. Um, what else do we have? Uh, we have uh, uh, my uh, one of my favorites, uh, who I believe could win it at the start. The French. They looked like they struggled. They did not listen to me. Um, I didn't get to see all the match. Uh, but I saw Pogba was there in the 80-something minute, so if Pogba was on the field, even though he scored, I'm not, I'm not feeling it. I feel like they were quite fortuitous to, to get the bounce and get the goal to, to get away from Australia. But it, it's not a very convincing start for the Le Bleu, so we shall see how that continues on. Luckily, I think they, they, their group is a group where they could play their way into, into form, so we shall see how that goes. Uh... What else took place? Um, so I just, I as I said, I was coaching in a tournament uh, throughout the day. So I got back to watch Nigeria and Croatia live. I was, you know, bitterly disappointed because the lads were just, as I said, Nigeria were naive. Croatia picked their moments, exploited us, and uh, got what they needed. You know, unlucky to score the own goal, but... That's how it goes. And I did not get to watch the Argentina Eastland match live, but I I was able to just finish it now. So um, I will I guess I will go into real full detail on the Portugal Spain game and the the Eastland Argentina match because it all pertains to Cristiano Ronaldo versus Lionel Messi. Um, with the Spain and the the Croatia, no, I just I've been trying to say Croatia all all evening, I guess. Uh, the Spain Portugal match. Uh, 
you know, Spain were clearly a stronger side. Uh, Portugal wanted to use their their the the blueprint that they used to win Euros to get them results in that match. They were able to get the penalty early on in the match and wanted to see how long they could sit on that. But Spain's possession, their creative play, was a bit uh, it was just it was a bit overwhelming. You know, it was only a matter of time. And you know, I personally was never a fan of Diego Costa playing up front for La Roja, but. He gives them that get out of jail free card because their passing game takes some time. And if it takes too long or they're a little unfortunate, they may not get their just due. But with that battery down up front, I mean, people were saying that, oh, he fouled Pepe. But listen, you know, I'm kind of glad the referee didn't call it because uh, Ronaldo took advantage of Nacho. Because Nacho dove in, he didn't really kick him, he put his foot there, and every smart footballer knows, they put their foot there, you touch it by him, you leave, you drag your leg a bit, you get the pen. And that's what Ronaldo did to get the pen, and uh, he scores it 1-0, but then back on the other end, um, back on the other end, Diego Costa bullied two centre-backs. Jose Font and Pepe could not deal, he ran them over and buried it 1-1, you know, uh... So we, we go on, you know, Isco hit the bar, wicked shot by that little man, great strike, uh, and uh, but it doesn't go in, you know, it, it gives Portugal uh, another lifeline, and then of course, you know, poor defended by Spain, the ball falls to Ronaldo again, he hits a hard drive right at De Gea, and he drops it in the goal, come on, that's, that's I mean, so unexpected, so that was quite poor, 2-1 to Portugal at halftime, um, and... Uh, and uh, we start the second half, and, uh, you know, Spain, again, their domination, their possession, it wore down the Portuguese. You can't defend like that. You, you can't come in trying to defend against a team like that. The best way, I would try to play them head up, and I think Portugal have the players to try to play them head up, you know. They got the result in the end, 3-3, whatever, you know, with Ronaldo's free kick at the end. Um, but uh, they, they fell behind because they just had the ball so much. You know, Portugal fell behind because Spain had the ball so much. And they having the ball so much, it's like, whoa, dude, it's like, that's a lot. It's just a lot, man. And, like, no matter how good you are at defend, you can't do that all day. So when they went up 3-2 and then Ronaldo comes back with free at, at the dying minutes to make it 3-3, you know, I guess it was, you know, heroics by Ronaldo. Um, I thought Isco was phenomenal. I thought it was the best man on the pitch. He really ran the show. Um, and, uh... You know, it ends 3-3, and Ronaldo is, is, is uh, you know, I don't want to say too much yet because I have to get to the Eastland and Argentina match to get back to Ronaldo and Messi. So it ends 3-3, and it was, uh, it was, as I said, scintillating, exciting, you know, just pulsating match. It was great, great for football. So then we slide over to uh, Eastland and Argentina, and, uh, I mean, that was one-way traffic. You know, it was one-way traffic, but, you know, Eastland was like, you know, you know, the old saying, bend but don't break. They were under a lot of pressure. At a point, it was like 70, 72, 28 possession for Argentina. They were all over these dudes, all over them, creating chance upon chance. You know, it's 1-1, you know, uh, uh, into the second half, it's 1-1, and they get the penalty. And Messi missed the penalty. I don't know why he hit it that way. Usually he uses the left peg of his to go across his body back the other way, top shelf, but chose not to. The Icelandic keeper saved it, and we play on. It's still 1-1. And uh, one thing I do want to say is that uh, he really tr he didn't, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't hide after the missed penalty. Messi really gave all that he could to try to equalize or to take the lead. It felt like they were losing. But uh, he tried everything that he could. He hit some good shots. You know, was just unlucky. He really tried. And I thought that he had a good, he had a good match aside from missing the penalty. But when you are of that caliber of player, who they say you are, who your supporters say you are, you can't miss that penalty. You just can't. There's no room for it because as we all see on social media, the, the pundits, they're, they're slating and they're, they're destroying this man. They're killing Messi. They're killing him. They're just ripping him apart. You know what I mean? So I tell you, uh, it's just tough that he missed the penalty because he had a great game aside from that. 
Um, and there, there, therein lies the, the, the comparison between Lionel Messi and uh, Cristiano Ronaldo. And I, I stand firmly by what I've said all along, that I think pound for pound, Messi is a better player. I think he's a better player. I think he has better abilities on the ball. He's, 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 a, he's the natural footballer. Ronaldo is more, you know, constructed. And, and many, many top players have said the same thing. But here, is the, here lies the difference. Cristiano Ronaldo lives for that moment. He lives for the opportunity to be the star. He lives for it. His ego drives him to want that. And there's nothing wrong with that at all. You know, it, it pays to be a bit arrogant. And his arrogance makes him even better. His arrogance makes him who he is. His arrogance makes him almost unplayable, as some people may say. You know, and uh, he lives for the pen. He lives for the goal. He's, a, he's, a, he's, a, he's an incredible finisher. And that's where he is different from Messi. And that's where I believe I have to admit that it, 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 it almost makes him slightly, slightly more dangerous or more, more, you know, highly thought of than Messi because Messi is Messi doesn't have that heart like that. He doesn't have that ego. You know, I could see we could all see that when he had that penalty, he was a bit stressed. He was a bit stressed. But when there's penalties, Ronaldo's eyes light up like a fat kid when he sees cake. He gets pumped. He's like, I get to eat that? I get to have that? Ronaldo loves that. But meanwhile, Messi sees a pen. And he's like, oh, I got to deal with this again. Like, he just... He doesn't have the heart for it like, you know, his mental strength isn't what Ronaldo's is. Ronaldo's mental strength is when Bruce Banner turns into the Hulk. It is incredible. It is the incredible Hulk. That's that's Cristiano Ronaldo's ego, the incredible Hulk. It is it it, it just cannot be contained. It's 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 unbelievable. He loves it. He 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 lives for it. He thrives off of it. Meanwhile, Messi is not like that. You know, Messi just wants to play. He wants to run with the ball, create, pass. And, you know, that is, the, in the end, that is a difference. And many people have said that, you know, when you compare, when you talk about the GOATs, you know, and there's Maradona and there's Pelé, you know, uh, Maradona and Pelé, they, they had that ego about them as well. They had that, that I want this moment, you know what I mean? Especially Maradona, you know. And Messi's not that guy, you know. Like the American dudes, when they talk about basketball, the brothers, they say, Yo, you know, he ain't got that dog in him. You know, Ronaldo's got that dog in him. But Messi's not, Messi's not, nah, Messi don't, Messi's not that, he ain't got that dog in him like that. You know what I mean? He's never had that dog in him, and I don't see him going to find that dog in him in the next week. I don't see him having it like that. He's not like a killer like, you know? Ronaldo's a killer, you know? In America, we have the same conversation about Kevin Durant and LeBron James. LeBron James ain't got that dog in him. But Kevin Durant, he won it. He won it. And he just showed us in, in, in the NBA Finals. And that's what I saw between these last two match days, Spain versus Portugal, and now Island versus Argentina. Messi doesn't have that dog in him. You know, but the only thing that I can say that could possibly save, that could possibly save Messi and keep him in the conversation because right now I think it's slipping out of his hands because missing that penalty today was suicide. Is that he's got two group games left. If he can now, and, and, one, and one of those group games against my, my Nigeria, and I don't know how we're going to keep them out because Argentina looked good today. Let's not forget, both sides drew. Argentina drew, Portugal drew. Nobody won, nobody lost. But it's almost like Argentina lost because Messi missed the penalty, and meanwhile, Cristiano Ronaldo scored his penalty and scored a free kick. So it's funny that both teams drew, so they, they still have a lot to play for. I think that the only thing that can save Messi now is Argentina go on and beat Croatia, beat Nigeria, and have a nice run in the tournament, and Messi can try to put this penalty behind him. Um... But again, you know, Ronaldo's going to go and, and, and do his thing and find find opportunities, get more goals. Whether they're penalties, they're inside the six-yard box, they're headers, you know, that's what he does. You know, free kicks, whatever. Um, but uh, that, that, that's what it is, you know, that, that, that dog, that, that, that hunger, that fire. You know, you could see it in Ronaldo's eyes. He was on it. 
He was on it on Friday night. On it, you know? And and Messi's not that Messi's not like that. You know what I'm saying? It's just it's not like that for him. He's a great player, one of the best players of all time. I personally do not believe either one of them are the GOAT, you know? The GOAT is Edson Aranches do Nascimento. That is the GOAT. Okay? But right now the best player in the world at this moment. I will, I've, I've been with Messi on that one, um, but I think that right now it's it's slipping out of his hands due to what has happened in the last 48 hours. That's what I think. So, um, you know, uh, it's going to be very interesting. The tournament has, has kicked off to a, a brilliant start, and uh, there's obviously more tomorrow. Um, you know, Mexico and uh, Germany is going to be a good one. Mexico, Germany. Um, who else is going to play tomorrow? Brazil and Switzerland, I believe. Uh, Granit Xhaka plays for them. I'm an Arsenal guy. I'm not expecting Switzerland to do anything. You know, I'm expecting 4 or Brazil in that one. Um, who else? Uh, yeah, so there's just going to be a lot. But, you know, as I said, between Cristiano Ronaldo and Lionel Messi, uh, for me, I would still, if, I, if, if I'm, if I'm, a, if I'm, if I'm a, a, a club owner, if I, which I am, <laughs> uh, you know, if I had an opportunity to bring either Cristiano Ronaldo or Lionel Messi to football club Red and Blacks, I would select Lionel Messi because of the way that he plays. That's just a personal preference. But I do know that if we have a penalty, I probably wouldn't ask Messi to take it. I would ask somebody else to take it. You know, that's the. But if I had Ronaldo, of course, you ask Ronaldo to take it because Ronaldo's a finisher. He scores. He loves penalty. He loves it. You know, so I believe that is the difference for me. Um, it's it, it's 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 been very exciting so far, and there's obviously more to come. And we haven't even got through all the first matches of the group group stage. So we football fans are in for a treat. So obviously there'll be more. Um, you know, I do want to say this in the group with Nigeria, Iceland, Iceland, um, Argentina, Croatia. Uh, is I don't see Nigeria coming out after the result today. Eastland could easily come out. Um, so Croatia as well and Argentina. But I do think that, uh, you know, um, Eastland will run out of gas because they put in a lot of work today. And they're going to have to put in a, 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 put in a shift against Croatia. And uh, even Nigeria, you know, we will make them work. We will make them work. And, you know, they could. They, they could I don't think they're very deep. Uh, rightfully so, because they don't have a lot to choose from. So, so, uh, so that's what it is. That's what it is. Uh, so I think that Argentina and Croatia will come out there. Croatia could easily win the group. They'll probably draw with Argentina and uh, and uh, come out the group as a, as a group winners. So yeah. So um, let me know what you think about it. You know, my boy Tony Tony Matron, he wanted me to give him a shout out on this one because. He's he's feeling Ronaldo right now. He's really feeling him, and uh, he, he wants to give him his props. And he's saying that he has this is the best Ronaldo ever played. Uh, he's, he's ever played in his career, he believes, and I'm sure some of his, uh, Ronaldo's fans believe that as well. Um, so, and he wanted me to take it easy on Ronaldo. And I, yeah, and people say that I'm a hater and I'm dogging Ronaldo. You know, I, I'm not dogging him. I just call it how I see it. And I think that uh, I think that uh, he's. Uh, you know he's 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 on he's on, he's on a mission right now. So uh, Tony, I got you in there. Your boy Ronaldo, he's your boy now, ain't he? Yeah. So we're, we're gonna see what happens the rest of the way. You know, um, I do want to say this also. It'll be interesting to see how Portugal attack Morocco and Iran because against Spain they got to sit in and counter. Now they're gonna have to be the ones to attack Morocco and Iran because we all know that Morocco and Iran will sit and try to counter. So we shall see how that goes. Um, so Ronaldo should be on the ball a bit more, and he should have to create for for Portugal. So we'll see how that goes. But yeah, so let me know what you think. If you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe now. FCRB TV. We'll be back. Ciao.